All of this uh, that we hear now, not too many of scientists are saying it, but a few. Oh, but the new biotechnology, the new molecular genetics is going to give us a new huge surge in production. In, in, my, in my opinion on, uh, on molecular genetic engineering, or whatever you want to call it, uh, new technology, I think that uh, we probably are going to stabilize yields much better. We're going to get uh, more resistance to insect and disease attack and adverse soil conditions. But that's uh, not the big, the big thing. But I don't think you're going to get a great big jump again. That, that doesn't have anything to do with yield potential per se. Yeah. It's got to do with sec security or it safety. Doesn't increase the yield potential. It only harm maintains some of the gains that you've already made. And reduces yeah. crop losses. Reduces crop losses. That's correct. Yes. And uh, there's a lot of confusion. It seems to me in the public's mind at the mm -hmm. present time, mm -hmm. because of few uh, very articulate scientists who believe, of course, in this, and they should have faith in their own research, but sort of blow it out of proportion. Maybe they do not, but the way it comes out in the general press, uh, they look through the eye of the needle of that specialty, and they think it's going to revolutionize again. Uh, rice production, corn production, and wheat production, and the tuber crops, all of this. And what you're saying, if I understood you correctly, is that don't look for these big jumps in yield potential. In no. safety of harvest, yes, because these are the singular... It's pretty much been done, and uh, we just a steady, some steady improvement, of course, and stability in yields. Yeah. So well, that's exactly what do we do then have. about this population monster? Uh, to me, that is, uh, as I've said in that number of my writings in recent years, I said I think the greatest threat to the well-being of mankind in the years ahead is is the increasing rate of population growth. I think that we, I just don't understand how people feel that we can have a world that's fit to live in and have uh, 14, 15 billion people on the surface of this earth. It just can't be done. And you're going to have some very serious problems of, of health and well-being of people before you get to that stage. Uh, if we could stop at 10 million, 10 billion, I think we might be able to do it with a, a tremendous effort, that, an effort that, uh, that has only been made in wartime as far as money is concerned and so forth. It's just going to be a major effort to do that. And if you're talk, talking about as the, the, you know, the UN, the United Nations Population Council goes from the, the best scenario to the middle one to the worst. And the worst one's up 15, 16 billion people. And it could well happen. And that could happen, and that would be awful.